Yeah. Y'all can find uh, my music videos under my TZ dot page. Uh, we have the Drip It Like This video. That's the latest video I've shot. Before then, we had that Make That Money video. That was me and Young Kicks, Too Many Gang. Uh, you can type in T, then the letter Z, space D O T dot to find those videos and other various videos. Uh, my Done Dada page, it has a couple of videos and a couple of songs on there. And um, Two Man the Gang page on YouTube, both have them. Spotify, it's the same thing. Done Dada, D O N D O T A, iTunes, Apple Music, iHeartRadio. Like, the music's a lot of places. Amazon, I'm on the United Masters, so check me out, you feel me? Oh, yes, I do. Coming down. You feel me? That's my single. You feel me? I'm coming down. Tipping on the folk. Sipping on the lean. Eyes real low. Real low. Hey, I made that in like, I say the 10th grade. And what's so crazy was me and uh my boy Garrett Couch. We had a, a little group called the G-Code. And it was just me and him. In the mixtape, we had dropped G Code, had that song on there. So originally, the song was me and him. And I ended up leaking up with this dude called Sam Deuce, Justin McBride in uh, high school and started recording because the nigga had like that professional shit. You feel me? <laughs> like he had that shit. And man, he heard that coming down song. He like, yeah, because shit, I was in middle school. I mean, I was in high school. I was selling them CDs when I dropped them. Yeah. I'm gonna sell these motherfuckers to you, man. I'm gonna give me two, five out some shit. And shit, what's so crazy is they was buying them motherfuckers and bumping that shit. Like, people really bumped in my music in high school, man. And when they coming down, hit. Oh, man, look. Look. Hey, lucky my baby got my phone, because I could call some people right now. And they'll tell you, hey, when they coming down, hit. That nigga took over the high school with that shit. Like, I had them bumping that motherfucker. Like, especially when we re-put it out with me and Seven Deuce on it. Yeah, man, that shit was kicking, you feel me? And shit, from then on, me and Deuce started working because I, I had dropped the G-Code. I had dropped a mixtape called the Mixtape Mix Grade in high school. I dropped Heaven to Hell. Uh, shit, goddamn me. I, I say I dropped about three, four mixtapes in high school. And shit, when I got with Deuce, we, we really started like doing like radio interviews. I remember I had the radio interview. They played my music on 88.3 radio. That was like when they first popped it off. Hogleg was doing the interviews. And shit, Hogleg from the South End, he had recorded me. Hogleg used to be in a little burgundy van with the rims on it. Had a little raspy voice. Shit, I ain't seen that nigga in a minute, but uh, he used to fuck with me. They used to do the little Juneteenth little shows. Uh, Trill Team, 88.3, 88 they used to do that. And uh, I used to perform out there. I had performed the coming down, me and Deuce performed it out there. We had a nice little run and shit. Ended up falling out, you feel me? Shit, goddamn me. Niggas didn't have nobody record deal, wasn't famous or nothing, but. Motherfuckers started, you know what I'm saying, shit go to the motherfuckers' heads and shit, so I had to split off and do my thing. And shit, it was back to me, hell. Off topic, what happened to Deuce and Gary? I haven't seen them in a long time. Uh, Gary Couch, he, uh, he moved to Texas. He got a job out there, you know him and his family out there. He living good, you yeah. feel me, shit. He living bright, I ain't seen him forever. Uh, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a story behind it, you feel me? I mean, shit, I'm, 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 I don't give a fuck. Everybody know me, man. I ain't no nigga that hold nothing back, whether it's my life or anybody else's life. I'm going to spill the beans on this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? He married to a white man, goddamn me, shit. And they doing their thing low key, so he fell back from the rap thing, you feel me? Shit. Everybody got they, you know what I'm saying? Get up on me real quick. Yeah, everybody got their uh, choice of lifestyle, you feel me? But 
at the same time, he's smart enough to know you can't mix a certain lifestyle and present yourself this way and be living this way. So he took the little, you know what I'm saying, back row producer type route and shit, but shit, he always been good producer type dude, you feel me? Yeah. So yeah, that's what happened yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. I would never thought that. Yeah, she. No, because I just I remember him in high school. He was, you know, he was you know, yeah, like see, strong she. masculine. You know what I mean? I caught. I caught wind of it during high school, you feel me, shit. You know, I used to be over there, so motherfucker computer up. You see everything, you feel me? And shit. I say you see everything on the From computer. From there, and I fell back. My other homies didn't see why I fell back, but they laid alone down in life while mm -hmm. I fell back, you feel me? <laughs> shit. I quit fucking with that nigga. Because those two individuals, I ain't seen it. Like, I, I, you know, I just ain't seen them in forever. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, but see, that's one thing I noticed. Like every time we used to go to the dance, all through high school, he never had a girlfriend. Mm. So kinda, never brought a girl to the dance type. You feel me? Yeah. So it's kind of you know. Like I know me, I'm knocking a bitch off wherever I can in the car, in the house with a mouse on the tree when I gotta pee. I'm giving her the thing to thing. My little lab around there doing the damn thing. I'm from the north side to the west side to the south to John Perry. I'm anywhere, some tail at southwest. I'm there, you know. Shit. What, what the, they used to call me the raw dog king in uh, high school. And what's so crazy is, was not known for burning no bitches at all. Ex that was not known for burning no bitches. No, it, mm mm. But I was, because I had to feel it. And then, <laughs> and then, I ain't had no kids until I was like 24. Yeah. So she, like, I was lucky. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, shit. Knock on wood. I don't need nobody to come with a nigga talking about he about 18. This little Marquavius bitch. That, uh, nah, I'm, mm, I'm going to need them DNAs. I just dropped y'all ain't fucking with the dot. It's on Spotify. It's on YouTube. Just type in Y A L ain't A I N T fucking F U C K I N with the dot. Uh, it's under my Dun Dada page on YouTube. D O N D O T A. It's under the Dun Dada Spotify page. Y'all ain't fucking with the dot. It's a little five song EP. I got a uh, Rolling Stone. I got People So Slime. Touch. Uh, I got a round on there. And uh, it's one more track on that thing that around and uh, I believe coming down on there. Yeah. Oh, so you, you redid Coming Down. Yeah, I redid okay. Coming Down. Yeah, I redid Coming Down. Beat remade by Bodie. We got Bodie on the verse. We got Rockman on the last verse. Shit, pretty soon it's going to be time to shoot that video for that. It's really been overdue, really. But, you know, everything done at the right time. Shit, like there's so many people that still ain't heard the Coming Down. So, y'all watch this. Go... Go to your YouTube, your Spotify, and uh, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Google Play Music, all that. Dun Dada, D O N D O T A. T Z dot, T Z D O T. And uh, I got my group shit too. It's uh, me and my boy Young Kicks. Two Man the Gang, two M A N E. D A G A N G. So some of the music is under that too. Tracks like uh, Around, and that's a real personal track. That's where I speak on when I went through my divorce. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Ex wife put the police on me. Mama House was hit by the uh, probation parole. She sent in pictures to probation parole, and they put me on ankle monitor, monitored me for about two, three months. I stayed in my IT crib, didn't move, you feel me? Shit, didn't go nowhere, you feel me? And got off that, but it was really on some stuff, you know, trying to take my soul custody, make me look bad in court type shit. But, you know, people do stuff out of ill intention. You know, people be evil for no reason, but we live, learn, 
we forgive what we don't forget. You feel me? So I ain't forget. So I just put it into a musical expression. You know, that's what people do. Tell you what they been through through their music. And really, I can say with that five song EP, oh, it's really what I've been doing, what I've been going through, what I've been living. You know, even from the Rolling Stone, they say where I lay my hat, there's, there's my home. You feel me? When I pop that jig, I'm a Rolling Stone. Like, you know, shit, with these females, really shit, that's how I have been living shit, you know. Vizzle of Pearl, B-I-Z-Z-L-E, a pearl. And um, it was created by Cortez Miles. He's the creator of Monkey See, Monkey Do. I ended up buying that brand from him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because shit, I ain't had no job since 2012, so I, I'm trying to find something legal to do out here, you feel me? And shit, it's the brand, it's based off um, smokers, you feel me? Weed, blunts, backwoods, whatever you smoke, you feel me? And we have different variety of uh, clothing as far as um, sweaters, t-shirts, we got hats, we got jerseys. Like I said, go to my Instagram, Dundotta, D-O-N-D-O-T-A underscore, and uh, you can see some of the apparel. It may be me in it. I had a couple of known artists from the city. Um, I had uh, my boy Bobby Rex Smith. He's purchased Bizzle Apparel. Uh, my boy Hefe with Humble Vision. He purchased some Bizzle Apparel as well. So, you know, we've been pretty much moving it around the city. You know, we ain't popped it in no store yet, but that's the plan. We're going to get it in a store. You feel me? We got a couple of hookups. Shit. But. Yeah, that's 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 a business venture I took, you know what I'm saying? And shit, it really made us go get some equipment and really take it serious, you feel me? We ain't came with a website or an Instagram page for it yet, but that is coming. So, like I say, just watch my page, that Instagram page, and just look for that message, and I'm going to let y'all know it'll be on a story or maybe through a post or something. Uh, another page you can go to is Q True on Instagram. And uh, he's part owner of it with me, Quinn Brown. Yeah. On Facebook, his name is Q Playmaker Brown. But yeah, he uh, owns Bizzle Apparel as well. We both are part owners of Bizzle Apparel. That is our clothing line. And we got a lot, a lot of merchandise to come. I mean, we got some stuff that we ain't even put out there yet. Well, actually, we did give a little preview of. In the video you shot to drip it like this, the females had on uh, that black and gray outfit. The one young lady had on was Bizzle Apparel, Tasha Adams. Shout out for her being in the video. Then we had uh, my girl, Rashira, Rashira Timoni Phillips, the Nubian queen. The barber that wear the panties, you feel me? She was in the video, and she was rocking some of our lady rock clothing line and that's based for you know little rock arkansas lady rock a little clothing line we working on we ain't presented it yet but uh our plan is to present that as well you know for the ladies shit the bizzle apparel is for men and women but uh that lady rock is gonna be especially catered to women and shit we got some ideas for that so y'all women be looking out because we're gonna need some models and i do pay I do really pay, you feel me? And y'all can goddamn me keep your little coochie put up and not have to pay, I mean, not have to get paid $40 to come get this honey and look good in these clothes, you feel me? Yeah, I do got a project coming for 2021 and uh, on that project, I plan to release some music that I last recorded with my homeboy who passed Zola. Uh, I ain't really came with a name for it, but I have a few tracks out for it on SoundCloud uh, under my TZ Dot page on SoundCloud. Uh, we got a track called Drug Talk, and that's me, Zola, Long Lil Zola, and my boy Rock Mon. Then we got a track called uh, Flavors. That's me, Young Kicks, Zola, and Rock Mon as well. 
So, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm still in the midst of making it, you feel me? So, shit, just wait and watch. I ain't came with a name yet. That's why I dropped that Y'all Ain't Fucking With The Dot, just to give them a little taste until I dropped that. Now, I do have the Two Man The Gang mixtape coming as well, and it should release in 2021. Might release a little before, you feel me? It might be a little Christmas present. I ain't decided yet, you feel me? Like, it's pretty much done as far as recording, but you never know. I might want to add some new shit. I be hearing this new shit, and I be like, man, I need to go spice my shit up, you feel me? I heard that new young boy, and goddamn it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I need to go back and do another track, man. I need to go put some home dotty lie on this other track and shit, man. Yo, you know, shit. It's always trying to keep up with the time, like, maybe to record some shit and listen to it later and be like, uh, so I'm real particular with what I drop, you feel me? So I'm just sitting back and waiting until I got that catalog of that shit that I like and I'm going to get to y'all. Every time I get to y'all, come with something good, like, they, they like that I get a bag, they like I get a bag, shit, they fucking with that new coming down. It's really a lot of shit they fucking with, because I done did a couple of shows, too. So, just stay tuned. Hit that Instagram. Hit that Facebook. Shit. Hit that goddamn me. Spot, uh, and I sp hit Spotify, too, but hit the uh, Snapchat. Dundotta, D-O-N-D-O-T-A, Osama, O-S-A-M-A. Yeah, hit that Snapchat, because I give out a lot of exclusive shit on Snapchat, too, man. I show you all my life, really, how I'm living. Uh, I really do that a lot of places, but <laughs> I can't help myself, man. Shit, I just can't help. I feel like y'all need to see this shit, man. Like, a lot of people know, like, hey, y'all need to see this shit, because y'all really wouldn't believe some of this shit, man. Even if I rapped it to you, like, y'all gotta really be there to be like, damn, yeah. Shit, like, this shit is not a game. It's not a movie. It's real life. Shit. Like, motherfucker say, man, you need to write a book or something. Shit. That'll be a deep-ass book. But, yeah, y'all watch. Because 2021, best believe by the time January hit, yes, it will be some music hitting. Until then, shit, I'm going to just sit back and get on these music videos. Because I got a lot of music that needs some videos y'all need to see, too. Like, coming down. So, Bodie, Rockman, get your gear ready. I don't give a damn what you got to do. Rent a car, go buy a new car, whatever you do. Go do it and pull up because we finna stunt in our front and roll big, big blunts. Dundada, Gucci, and the Prada. I holla.